Oh snap. So what's up, laser tester? I don't oh, know if I've much? I don't know if I've ever had you voiced on my stream before. I don't think so. I've had I've had Kensai before, I've had Barbaric Yop. Um I might have no, I don't think I had I don't think I had high life. I had high life in chat a lot, but not voiced. Yeah. I tend to hide out because I'm usually busy coding crap. I you know, can like, imagine. It's it's not like you've it's not like you've coded much or anything. No, no nothing. <laughs> how many lines how many lines of code is mine Z, out of curiosity? I have no idea. It's gotta um, be like a hundred thousand or more, or like a million. Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah. So I mean for instance I did a, a major rewrite on um, what I call the plugin I call persistent player state this morning, which is what stores the player's inventory and location. Um, and that project alone is probably a hundred thousand lines of code. If just dealing with various logic of how to deal with players joining and leaving and switching servers and all that to try and keep everything consistent. So yeah, it's it's a lot of code. It must be pretty crazy with this whole proxy server thing added too. I mean, it's so it simplifies things. If does you it? Believe it or not, yes. I I, I don't believe it. <laughs> It has simplified so much for us because, for instance, this, this test server right here, um, we're able to get players into the Wasted Alpha and say, hey, come play, and we don't have to give you guys some, we don't have to reserve a, an IP address for it, we don't have to give a slot, we can just set up a server, put up a sign linking to that server, and then everybody knows how to join it immediately. Oh, I so didn't think about that, level, yeah. There's a whole level of infrastructure that just is is simplified, and then... I can preserve information. I, I have a system for when you join a server from another server on the proxy, um, essentially attached to your connection to the proxy is some metadata that you can bring to the new server. Like, for instance, your platinum status and all of that kind of stuff goes with you from the server you were at before. So that way you don't have to hit the database every time you switch to a server. Oh. Just little things like that that are really fancy. Interesting. So, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot going on behind the scenes that that make my job a little bit simpler as the developer. So I suppose it also develop, but fun. I suppose it also helps with awareness of a lot of the newer game modes too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I I love Smash, Smash by the way. Smash is amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, like for instance, I think Smash has had. I mean, LMS itself has had ten thousand players in the last twenty four hours, Whew. and like, and people are like, wait, people still play LMS? But yeah, people are discovering it every day, but. Just because somebody gets bored of it because they've played it all over and over again doesn't mean it's not fun for somebody. So, yeah. But I think Smash. How many people have played Smash in the last 24 hours? Last updated. Later, right, sub just... cooler. Oh, I don't see it. Uh, let's see. If I see P Sam, let's see. I don't see P Sam anywhere. Hmm. I'm sure it'll pop up sometime. Yeah, Smash has had about about. Oh, oh, PSM's in the lounge. Do you mind dragging him in here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Smash has had about seventeen thousand people play in the last twenty-four hours. But it's not as big as I hoped. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather have more people play Smash. But I, I have I have a feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling it will catch on. Like that yeah. is just such. It, I I can play that literally for hours and I don't get bored. It, it's. I, I when I when I play I have to limit myself because if I go in and I start playing I don't develop anything I just play. I get so addicted <laughs> to that. I like I I loved Smash Brothers, but mm -hmm. I was never that good at it. Like I but I, I'm really good at like the whole 3D mouse and keyboard thing. Like I'm not fantastic with game pads. So I just I love that the that the same like pace and action of playstyle has been translated to like my favorite platform of gaming. Yeah, it's the. Uh, oh, well, thank you. And, uh, I think it's it's the feeling. The biggest feeling I think that we nailed was was the. Uh, oh, I, I I can make it when you double jump to try and recover after getting hit. That's the. I think that is the essence of Super Smash Brothers is trying to recover from getting hit off the level. Yeah. And yep. barely landing on it, and then um, and that's kind of one of the things that I'm happiest with. But yeah, uh, wasted. As far as wasted, um, it's. I mean, I don't know if people fully understand. I don't know how many people have played uh, Wasteland. It's starting actually to get bigger than I thought it was going to get with uh, with 
some of the attention it's gotten very recently, so it's going to be kind of like Mind Z, where we kind of hit it right <coughs> as it starts getting big in Arma 2, so that's kind of fun. But Yeah. Um, but with Wasteland, it's it's a giant map. Um, it's going to be a PvP focus. It's a team-based battle. You can either be on a, on a red team, blue team, or um, an independent, where you can basically just kill whoever you want group oh, up with your own team little size. Based. See, I've never actually yeah. played Wasteland. I have Arma 2, so I, I really should whip that out someday. It's 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 quite incredible. It's kind of like um, Daisy without the zombies and, and with I don't know. It's, with it's, teams, I mean, I, like team, Daisy, yeah. teams would be really fun because that's definitely the one thing. Ow! Oh, that's definitely the one thing that I don't like. I don't love about like Day Daisy in particular is just the griefing, like everyone against everyone. But then again, I I think like PVE doesn't have the same charm either, at all. And so I think, yeah, there's a, it's it's kind of, yeah, there's the, it's like you've got to have PvP to have it be interesting. But yeah, with the, with with Wasted and, and with Wasteland itself, but with Wasted, the, the end goal is it's going to be a giant map uh, with a bunch of towns that are interesting to visit, you know, kind of like a Mine Z scale. But I think it's going to, I think the map might be a little bigger than Mine Z. Yeah, the, um, mainly 10,000 yeah. blocks, McNibby said. Yeah, I um, believe that. And mine Z is like five or eight or something? Yeah, but there's going to be vehicles. Uh, I'm not going to go into details oh. on how that works, but they're, it's a really cool system. It's not like it's not like cars or something. It's, Re it's... Retextured cyborg, cyborg pigs with carrots? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. No. But anyway, it's going to be cool. And, uh, and it'll, be beyond, it'll be what nobody's expecting. It's going to be fun. But... Uh, the key is basically everyone's going to start. There's going to be two team, well, three teams, two teams in the independence, um, and then um, there's going to be random objectives on the map to go accomplish at any given time. They'll be, it'll say, hey, there's a weapons cache over here, and then the red team and the blue team fight over it. The green team is either trying to get there first and get out, or they get there, they camp it, and then they try and snipe out the red and the blue team when they show up. And so you just kind of, I mean. It's going to be, there's going to be a lot of mechanics, because the green team basically becomes the bad guys. Like, essentially, they're the NPCs of the world, but they're people. Oh. So they get to fill the role of just, they're the generic bad guys. No matter who comes across them, they're going to try to kill them. And they're also free to kill anybody they want. So when I play Wasteland, I love being independent, because you just, you just kill everybody. But um, the idea is there's a huge map. Um, you fight for control over the map over the course of the... About eight hours is probably what we're going to shoot for, um, for for a whole game before the map gets reset again. But when the map starts, everything's randomly generated on it. Um, the towns aren't, but like there's the buildings. Like you see here, how we have the buildings littered around the thing, and you you showed off the uh, the picking up and replacing of the buildings in different places. That's uh, such. Don't... It's such a cool. It's so much fun to watch those build. That's and it's just. And yeah, so you'll have there'll be hundreds oh. of different types of buildings and tons of different things you can do with them. And then the idea is that you can go off with your group, you can make a giant base. Some of the buildings will have chests for storage in them. They'll yeah. be. It's, I was playing yesterday, yeah. and Garden Gnome was on in creative, but he was using just the Ender chests and made an amazing base. It was kind of like uh, uh, Fort. Uh, what's what's it called? Uh, Camp. No. What? I, it's, I've been away from Mindsy for so long that I'm forgetting a lot of the names. Well, one of the one of the Mindsy builds, right? Yeah, it, I, it, yeah, he built it like out of parts, and it was just so cool to see. Yeah, and so that's kind of the idea is that you will be able to take the parts and just make a huge base. You'll have, you know, gates and stuff. You'll have to find those parts all over the world, and because you move really slowly when you're carrying them, you'll have to load them up on vehicles to move them around. And but um, but that'll be a big part of it. Um, and then there's the when you kill somebody, they'll have money. You pick that up. You can take that and buy weapons, uh, ammo, food, other supplies for your team or for yourself. Um, I heard it's going to reset I, every 12 hours as well. Is that correct? It might be, yeah, 8 hours, 12 hours. Uh, it just depends. But basically, everything is randomly generated at the beginning. And then by oh, the end, that's cool. it'll end up looking like this with with just the world just craters and buildings and yeah. yeah exactly so with with wasteland one of the things they don't have is is a uh, like dynamic destruction so of course we have to leverage that in mind z and with you know hauling yeah. the hills of smash i wanted to take that physics-based destruction and 
and bring that over here so you get those nice physical explosions with the blocks kind of just going everywhere. Yeah, it seems like some of these new releases of Minecraft have really increased the power of, of what you can do server side. Oh, absolutely. I think I think they're kind of slow <laughs> towards the mod API, but meanwhile, I'm able to use a lot of those features they plan on putting in that, um, even just on a just modifying the server uh, myself, which is really which is really nice. It's uh, I mean. Six months ago, this would physically not be possible to do. So it's yeah, I mean, I like, I'm not, I'm not, I've never in any way modded, but I know enough about coding to know like w what it takes to make things like this possible. And you know, it start starting out Minecraft, especially, you know, server side was just so bland and so restrictive. But now it's just more and more things are opening up, and it really, like, amazing things are becoming possible through this game. It's a lot of fun, actually. It's a it's a crazy route to go, and uh, and I, I like that we've put the limitation kind of the, the Shopo Network's the ideal is to never require somebody to download a client side mod. Just you know, the idea is that you can just jump between all these game modes without having to install anything, without having to keep track of what version of everything you've got and all that. So yes, that is simple. amazing. And I I just have to mention, I did not know that there was so much depth to the gun firing but after you explained that that like once you like it it's there's a cooldown on your movement to accuracy amazing I, i'm yeah, really well, impressed i didn't expect that kind of depth i kind of just expected it would be like just standard random spray area for per weapon but that's I, really impressive thank you but yeah it's so it's not just like a cooldown it's not like after they've been crouching for this much it's actually a variable it's like a tracking, there, there's like a level that you have that goes up and down based on your actions. Uh, yeah, basically that's... how steady you are when you shoot. And that's... then each gun has uh, unique properties as to how much it's affected by that by that particular modifier. You just made me so much more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's very dependent on how you move, how you aim, um, the, the scoped, um, that makes a difference. I mean... There's, I think. Oh, I love the scoped weapons. I love them. It's a lot of fun. But uh, and so with the the gun system that I've made here, um, as every single gun is, I mean, the whole gun system is probably twenty lines of code, but it's all read in from a config file and and dynamically generates the gun based on the variables that are passed in. So basically, all well, all but like the rocket launcher and grenade launcher and special things like that are all the same gun object but it's um, just it's the name that activates it yeah it's the name and yeah. then um, and then that also pulls up all of the different things like how many shots and how far the spread is how much crouching affects it how much standing affects it and all of that so it is the gunplay we wanted to be dynamic and i think people once you catch on to that you're like oh man i'm deadly with this but up until then you're kind of like man that's random i can't figure out why it's just going everywhere I was I was exactly like that. Like I hated this weapon, and now I can I can like practically snipe with it. Yeah, yeah. I think the pistol's uh, effective range needs to be lowered because right now I can literally snipe <laughs> yeah. anyone from anywhere. There, so. there are there are some weapons uh, that you shouldn't be able to snipe with that you can. Yeah, but and so that's it, it. I mean, it's still in such an alpha phase. Yeah, so I mean, feel free to report that kind of stuff though on the subreddit. I mean, that's what we're looking for is that kind of feedback. All right, and what subreddit do you use for this? Oh, MC Wasted. MC Wasted? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jack Sablon was telling me about uh, the stories about the Wasted subreddit. <laughs> I know. I I want it. <laughs> but it's apparently it's a subreddit where you can only post if you're wasted. And I yeah. was like, Hi, you must get wasted, and then ask them if we can have it. For <laughs> What, I, what uh, we're probably going to do is eventually we're going to get a, some standalone shop of forums where we can have sections for each of the uh, the game modes, and that way it's not because we don't want people to have to keep track of you know 50 places to post about their their favorite game because it's all kind of one community. But it's also yeah. you know, each game is so unique though that some people will only play Ghost Trap like that is all they will do. And I don't want to take away from that because you know that's their prerogative. If they if that's what they like, that is totally cool. But yeah. like, but we also want to make sure that you've got a they've got a place to post. Like for instance, Smash. We have literally no community for Smash right now. Like where to post, and it's kind of like, 
mm. and people enjoy it, but I think that that also is cutting into 